Uh, it's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. Uh, I arrived three days ago and uh, I got the offer to come here from Greenpeace Brazil, I think a month ago or something. And uh, it's insane. I've, I mean, everything, really everything feels so different to Germany. The food, the weather, being in the, in the, in the rainforest. But it's really enjoyable so far. Um, all the people are so kind and so friendly and it's, it's so joyous to see. Uh, how long they have been working here with communities, uh, fighting for, for conservation and um, it's really precious to talk to them and to learn from them. Yeah. This is where we have fresh water. To stay hydrated, very important. Mm. These are our uh, showers, toilets, everything to keep clean, they can brush your teeth. And this is where we all sleep. A lot of hammers. And this is my bed. It's been, it's been a good bed for a couple of days. It's really nice because the first nights we had a lot of rain, a lot of thunder, and it's really, really cozy. Here you can have, you have these, I don't know, what is it, plastic. You can loosen this, and then this, all this comes down so we don't get wet when it rains. But if it's up, you have a beautiful view. And this is what you see when you're laying in your hammock, cruising on the Amazon. Yeah. It's amazing. It's our first day out in the forest. If everyone's quiet, you can hear like so many different noises and birds and insects. It's really alive, this place. This is really great. So it's our first day and we followed some scientists that are going to study birds in the area because um, they just want to find out what's out here. We basically don't know, we don't have a clue and um, scientific expeditions like this are really important to understand what this land is like, what are the plants, what are the animals. We just need to know to also demand protection for this land, right? But it's just great to be out here like for the first time and you really feel this place is, is old, like a lot of dead trees, a lot of new trees growing and it's, it's really alive, it's, it's amazing to see. So this is a train that was prepared. People have been planning this expedition for months. And we have two trails, I believe, here at Manikore River, where we park the boat right now, so that our scientists can follow these trails to different areas to study the biodiversity here. The most special moments. Oh, the most special moments. I could name you so many special moments. Um, but what made it all so special were the people here. Like I definitely said, yes, I'm gonna go to the Amazon because I heard it's a beautiful place and I wanna see that. But uh, what made it so special were all those kind folks. And every time going out on a boat and having a local that shows you around and that's opening his home basically to show you around was very, very special. The second day we arrived, um, I went with, with some community leaders to the rapids. So it's a beautiful place down the river. And they were just so happy to show us this place and to be there with us. And we had a lot of talks about how, like the long way that they've come, fighting for 16 years to have it on paper that they, they have the right to use this land, that they've been living here. And it was really cute to see now, uh, was it yesterday or the day before yesterday, one of my last days now, we went back to that place and we were there with, with, the, with the community and the leaders and uh, they were putting up their first sign stating that this is the land and they have the right to use it and they are living here 
And that was really special to witness, to, to come back to this place, the place that they showed me two weeks ago, uh, which seems very precious to them, and to putting up this sign. Uh, was, was for them, they said it was a historical moment. And so, yes, yes, they have a different, of course they have a different relation with, with, with this environment and, and, and living here. And you can really feel how precious it is to them. And um, it, was, it was funny because I was always dependent on, on, on these very kind Greenpeace folks that were translating the whole time because unfortunately I don't speak Portuguese. But they, they told me that we can translate between German and English and English and Portuguese and whatnot, but we cannot translate the beauty of this place. You have to see that with your own eyes and I'm really happy I did. Um, and I soak it all in. And Because we are, we are faced with a lot of destruction, we see a lot of images of this forest burning, but spending time here and seeing the beauty of it is, I think, also really important because you, you, you only fight for what you love and when you know what it's worth fighting for. Mm -hmm. 